Uh, today's topic is for the NEET is biodiversity. Okay, the previous class we learned about uh, the introduction about the biodiversity, the definitions and all this we learned, right? So there are a so, uh, few questions we have discussed in the uh, last class. Now today we are learning about the next concept of biodiversity that is about pattern of biodiversity. Hope you remember that uh, uh, you are remembering this pattern of biodiversity in the uh, this uh, theory class okay which uh, whichever we have learned it okay if you are not remembering it please recall that once again and then we'll go for the further what are the things we have learned under the uh, pattern of biodiversity so uh, we learned about the species area relationship graph and then how many number of species are present in the in an biodiversity uh, or in an environment in the ecosystem so that is what that is what we are going to discuss today so let me take up a few things under that uh, pattern of biodiversity as we say under that a uh, latitudinal gradient as well as species area relationship we say that the two different topics we are going to learn here okay so in the latitudinal gradients let us move to the part where you can see okay uh, in the latitudinal gradient uh, we uh, we are going to study about the some plants and the animals the plants are as well as animals they are distributed throughout the world where you can't able to uh, properly count only a few things has been given okay it may be by the graphical representation or by the formula okay how much amount of the plants as well as animal species are present in the world okay so it varies uh, when when you take up the earth globe okay from the north to the uh, south both the region uh, the regions where you can see equator regions as well as north as well as south region where the amount of the uh, sunlight as well as the the amount of the rainfall depends upon that the plants as well as animals are gr okay growing now when you take up the uh, tropical region here uh, we are learning about some of the uh, how many number of species which are present and further uh, question and answer also telling about how many number of species are present so let me discuss only here how much amount of the species are present now when you take up the uh, tropical level it is the range is up to 23 uh, degree celsius south as well as 23 degree celsius in north that means more diversity which diversity species diversity okay compared to the polar region because the polar region you can see a much amount of cold now when you take up the columbia which is uh, located near the equator nearly 1400 species of birds are present new york when you take up 41 degree celsius in north has 105 uh, species which are present when you take up the greenland 71 degree celsius in north 56 species can be seen so likewise in india uh, you can see 1200 and species of birds are present now likewise when you take up the tropical rainforest which is called amazon rainforest where does it is present it is present in the south america okay so where how many uh, species diversity can be present there so they okay they are 40000 species of plants 3000 of fishes 1300 of 100 birds 427 mammals and then 427 amphibians 378 reptiles and more than 1 lakh 25000 of invest invertebrates are present because they have the scientist has been uh, scientist has been estimated these many amount okay it need not be true but this much amount okay may be seen in the amazon rainforest in south africa sorry south america okay uh, what are the main reasons of those species which are present in that tropical region because the first main reason is speciation is generally a functions of time Speci uh, speciation you know the definition of species there are different characters we can see in the species right so it is only uh, maintain proper function 
proper time then tropical uh, latitudinal regions remain relatively undisturbed for millions of years so where the place okay it has been not touched by any uh, human activity or ev evolutionary times then it is always constant for the environment where it it may be any amount of seasons okay and you can see more amount of solar energy for that reasons can be seen so all these things which uh, to say about okay where the where the plants as well as the animal species which can be seen uh, throughout the world okay in the second part of the species uh, latitudinal gradient is which is called as species area relationship so the scientist who is called as alexander van hambelt okay he told about uh, this all these things about uh, region species richness okay what is the equation it says the equation tell about s is equal to ca to the power square okay or z we say so when we apply the log value when you take up the log value the log value the log says that log s is equal to log c plus z log a s is the species richness c is the y intercept z is the slope of the line and a is the area all these things we learned in the theory class just have a look of the diagrammatic representation okay the area under the x axis and species richness under the y axis okay you can get a rectangular hyperbola where amount of the organisms are distributed see uh, this the scientist has always also discovered that okay the z line or a z thing slope of the line which the range is 0.1 to 0.2 for the taxonomic group okay when you take up the uh, plants in the britain birds in the california mollusca in the new york state okay when you take up this estimation the z will be lies under the lies under 0.1 to 0.2 okay uh, points well okay now likewise uh, when you take up the again a still more larger area the species richness also increases up to 0.6 to 1.2 value okay and some of the frugivorous birds frugivorous means the fruit eating birds and then mammals which are present in the forest region there the z lines up to 1.1 1.15 Uh, point okay where you can see the uh, z lies under there okay so likewise some of the uh, importance of species ecosystem also you can able to see there which is called as productivity stability okay and resilience it says about when the uh, the scientist who is called as david tillman he told about product with the more species has got the uh, shows the year to year variation in total biomass and also he showed that increase in the diversity contributed with the higher productivity now what does the simple word says in simple word says about where you can see okay okay students i was telling about uh, david tillman experiment okay long term a long term experiment what does he says plots with the more species when you take up the small region that region consist of a uh, number of species if, if you take a plants okay there are different types of the plant if you take a animal there are different type of animals in the if you take a small example like a, a, a frog okay the frog which has got a different species of frog you can able to see so that shows year to year variation how does the variation take place either they may die okay either due to the naturally uh, the things they may reproduce they more they grow more so likewise when when the number is increases there it shows the more diversity so likewise one more experiment we learn in the theory class which is called as revert popper hypothesis it is the very important for the examination point of view so in the revert popper hypothesis we say about aeroplane is considered as an ecosystem the how does the aeroplane is looks like so complete aeroplane is a, is called as a ecosystem where you can see a uh, wings the wings which has been attached to the aero, uh, aeroplane is called as the species if you if you take up the wings from the aeroplane 
what happens aeroplane is will be in, in the dangerous condition where it could not able to fly right so likewise when you take up any one of the species from an ecosystem if you take a frog if you take a plants from uh, from the ecosystem what happens without the plant the the things doesn't take place where animal can't able to survive so that is what we can study under that so all this is about a uh, synopsis about uh, biodiversity let us move to the question and answers part okay now the important of species diversity of an ecosystem so under that the pattern of biodiversity is affected by what does the answer latitudinal gradient species area relationship both a and b none of a and b none of the above the pattern is always depend upon latitudinal gradient and species area relationship the answer is c next question fill in the blanks you have to fill the fill the uh, things here okay in general species diversity dash as we move away from the equator towards the pole so it is decreases with very few exception exceptions tropic harbor dash species is uh, uh, than uh, tem than temperate or a polar area exceptions for is answer is there more okay a forest in a tropical region like equator has up to uh, has up to 10 time as many species of vascular plants okay vascular plants uh as a forest is okay as a forest of equal area in a temperate region like a okay midwest of the usa so the answer is b decreases more 10 time than the vascular plants answer is b next latitudinal range of greenland and new york uh, new york okay respectively would be new york uh, where you can see they have given a north and south side how much able to the answer is c 71 degree as well as 41 degree north celsius okay next the greatest biodiversity on the earth is found in tropical amazon rainforest south america tropic temperate amazon rainforest north america tropical amazon rainforest in south africa and trop temperate amazon rainforest in south america the answer is a tropical amazon uh, rainforest south america so the ha it has got a greatest biodiversity next question the number of fish amphibians reptiles birds and the mammals Uh, species found in amazon rainforest respectively are okay uh, let us uh, answer the uh, we'll take up the questions here so first fishes fishes are 3000 then uh, amphibians 427 reptile 378 birds 1300 mammals are 427 the answer is d match the <coughs> sorry match the column number 1 with the 2 India Amazon rainforest Greenland Colombia and the New York has been given so you have to find out okay uh, what are the things here uh, how many number of species bird species can be found okay uh, India India in India 1200 okay then uh, Amazon rainforest 1400 Greenland 56 uh, Colombia of 1400 again okay new york is 105 the answer is d speciation speciation is generally is a function in function of time because speciation is occur with the two new population which must be formed from one original population and they must involve in such a way that it becomes impossible for individual from the two new populations to interbreed that is nothing but one species must come means it should come from the original one original from whom from the mother from the mother to the child so likewise it has been continuous in take place when it a proper particular time because reproduction has got a proper particular time so that is why the answer is b 
Next, what is so special about tropics that might account uh, for their great uh, biological diversity? Um, and okay, let me uh, tell the questions first, options first. Unlike temperate region, subject to the frequent galicitation in far past, tropical latitude have remained relatively undisturbed for millions of years and thus had a long evolutionary time for species diversification. Next, temperate environment unlike tropical one are less seasonal, relatively more constant and predictable. Such constant environment promote the Nietzsche uh, speciation and lead to the greater species diversity. There is more solar energy is available in the tropic which contributes to the higher productivity. This in turn might contribute indirectly to the greater diversity. So uh, tropical region has a greater diversity. So when, uh, when you take up the tropics, so why does has the greater diversity? See, uh, whenever we look, whenever we, whenever we go for some other place, we look for adjustments. Okay, why why you go and st uh, stay there? Because you see about all the conditions there. Okay, then only you can able to survive. There. Otherwise, you'll come back, right? So likewise, how does the how, why the greater biodiversity you can able to find in the tropical region? So the answer is the proper sentence are first and C, A and C. Proper energy, solar energy as well as their latitudinal disturbance. Undisturbed, undisturbed place. Next question. Species are uh, area relationship was given by, of course, the scientist. Uh, I told about here, German naturalist and the geographer Alexander Van Hambelt. Okay, answer is C. Next question. Uh, the observation of the species area relationship was given by Hambelt after his pioneering, okay, uh, pioneering and extensive explorations in the wilderness of uh, South American jungle, North American jungle, South African jungle as well as East African jungle. The answer is South American jungle. So when you take up the species area relationship, when you take uh, example like in South America, in the jungle, so how many amount of species which are present in that particular area? So that has been uh, told by the scientist Hambelt. Okay. So after he's uh, taken this one, so the proper pioneering as well as extensive exploration of wilderness of species is you can see near South American jungles. So that's what the answer is A. Next, the relationship between uh, richness and area for a wide variety of taxa like angiosperm plants, birds, bats and freshwater fishes turns out to be. It is always a rectangular hyperbola. Answer is B. Rectangular hyperbola. Match the column number 1 with the 2. Organism has been given and then species in the Amazon rainforest. Okay. So the plants. Let me take up the answer directly. Okay. Plants. Uh, plants 40,000. Okay. Invertebrates 1,25,000. Vertebrates are uh, 5,532. Then insect species are waiting to be discovered are uh, like 20 uh, millions. So 20 lakhs. Okay. So these things has been given. The answer is D. The species area relationship on the logarithmic scale, log scale is always what? Rectangular parabola, hyperbola, straight line as well as sigmoid. So Z is always a straight line. Okay. Answer is C. The hyperbolic equation for the species area relationship is what? Hyperbolic equation. You when you take up the curve, okay, the curve says about s is equal to c a to the power of z. When you apply the log there, you can see log s is equal to log z, okay, plus uh, log a plus z log c. Okay, when you apply the logarithmic equation. Sorry, z log. Okay, sorry, z log a, not uh, c. Um, Okay, sorry, sorry there. Okay, uh, when you apply the uh, logarithmic equation, you can take up log s is equal to log c plus z log a. 
okay that you can able to apply but here they have given us high only a hyperbolic equation the hyperbolic equation is s is equal to c a to the power of z answer is d next in the plot of species area relationship the x and y axis are represents x axis is the area and y axis is species area richness so that the answer is b area and species richness next question on a logarithmic scale the relationship between the species and area is described by the same thing log s is equal to log c plus z log a answer is b okay thank you for listening okay a further part of the questions we'll discuss in the later classes okay thank you so much